What is that? Sorry. Uh, altar proof. I mean, sorry, uh, artist proof. I like it. <laughs> Go ahead. Untap. Upkeep. Draw. I don't know. Uh, I'm going to go to 19. Okay. <laughs> You've tried, Jason? Yeah. I guess that was a bloodstained mire. Is that what that says? I'll grab a forest. Okay. Let's see. Fetch to start the game for Corey. I can't Getting wait to read chat after this, just so that I can uh, see it. Who uh, is making comments on my shuffling with this gigantic deck? Well, what are you going to do? I'm going to shortcut. I'm going to make your comments now, chat. Uh, get a tapped overgrown tune because I assume you're doing some sort of utopia sprawl. Something, oh. Something, something. oh, my God. I am. Utopia sprawl. Great. Popcorn. What color are you feeling? Um, if you like popcorn, I'm going to do chat. blue. Give me a second. Blue. I'll write it down. Okay. Untap, and... upkeep, draw. Black Cleave Cliffs, Croxa. Oh my god, Croxa. Croxa. good. Uh, what are you going to discard? I have to think for a second, okay. I'm sorry. Um, I'm going to discard Assassin's Trophy. <laughs> yeah, okay. me the captain. So I won't lose any life. <laughs> well, that's the reason why I did it, of course. Of course. Go ahead. Untap. Oh, Dr funny. Draw. Thank you for the clock reminder. Uh, I'll play a Triome tapped, and then I will pass to you. Nice. I have five in hand. Draw. We're going to go for a Scooze. Ooh, you got it. Go ahead. Untap. Upkeep. Draw. I will play Pillar of the Prunes. Mm -hmm. And then I will pass with five. Run tap. Draw. Combat. No blocks. Go ahead. Oh, you didn't need the Croxa. Okay. Okay. I'm feeling optimistic. I'm going to. <laughs> I mean, I missed I... two land drops, but I'm still feeling <laughs> <laughs> At your end step, I'm going to make you sacrifice a creature and then exile your graveyard. Oh. Sure. In response, I'll eat the crops and go up to 20. Okay. And sacrifice creature comes first on the card, right? So that gets sacked. That's accurate. Okay. Uh, I won't do anything with my floating blue. Untap. Upkeep. Mm -hmm. Draw. I will... Uh, what did Foothills fetch? 18. Uh, that's my second fetch, plus I took two from Scavenging Ooze. I should be at oh, 16. Oh, that's right. 16. Grab a mountain. OK. Don't worry, I don't have that secret Jun sideboard blood moon tech. <laughs> but I that, did do that at one point in my Jun career. <laughs> I mean, Jund the mountain career. wouldn't really help me very much. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> uh, I'll but, tap for five uh, rainbow. Oh boy, here we go. Niv miss it. Mm -hmm. What uh, are we going to get? Trigger. Yeah. Let's find out together. Uh, four. Niv miss it is so eight. messed up. 10. Let's see. All right. I hit bring to light, assassin's trophy, miss, 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 hit, hit, miss, option, uh, hit. So I hit four plus one, and I mm -hmm. will choose to fairy. So I'll draw five. You're doing three fairy, and that's Dovin Vaughn, right? Uh, no, this is uh, Time Rappler. Okay. So I got Bring Delight, Assassin's Trophy, Ren and Six, Three Fairy, and then what was my other guy back in uh, there? Oh, Coligan's Command. Okay, come here. Yep. I think this game is over. <laughs> Holy crap. I don't know how Catherine beats that. Uh, bring to Light. 
And then pass to you. Discard's break yeah. delay doesn't even need it. Come on. Oh, wooded foothills. Let's go. <laughs> we did it. Good shock. Jesus. Here we um, go. Sacrifice incoming. Uh, what do we feel like? No, it doesn't matter terribly. I think we're going to get the stomping ground. Okay. And, um, oh yeah, Liliana the Veil is going to try to resolve. Oh, it definitely resolves. It definitely is going to minus. Wow, that's mean. <laughs> Targeting yourself, though, right? Uh, you know, <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. All right. Covered in a visit to start. I uh, mean, this uh, is still going to be a rough road, so we'll see. May I ask how many cards you have in hand? Looks like four. Four? Okay. Um, let's see here. Uh, red, green, and blue. Uh, I will cast Renin Six with a floating blue. Sure. Uh, I will down tick targeting Liliana of the Veil. Mm -hmm. And then with the floating blue, uh, I'll do white and anything. And mm -hmm. I'll cast a fairy. And I'll uptick to fairy to five. Yeah. Pretty good. Uh, then I'll play Misty Rainforest for turn. And then I'll pass to you. Target on the Teferi, right? Uh, I upticked Teferi. Oh, okay. Got it. And I have five in hand. And one mana potential access? Uh, correct. Uh, draw. Misty Reinforced. Cruel deck. Cruel. Black Cleave Cliffs was the draw. <laughs> That's right. So uh, mean. No Blood Braid Elf. <laughs> no Blood Braid. Not even the option to play, like, you know, things and spells. Scoos. Oh, you got it. And what's your graveyard? Does it look juicy? Uh, I've got Bring to Light, Chaos Guile, Assassin's Trophy, Land, Land, Niv Miss It. It's a little juicy. Yeah, it's kind of juicy. A lot of stuff. I'm gonna say go. You're in step. I'm gonna fetch. Yeah. So a fifteen. Uh, yes, that is accurate. Uh, I'll grab triumph. Yeah. Which triumph. uh, which triumph? Or do you run all the triumphs? Or uh, I only run Endatha and Ketria. Okay. And okay. Endatha is black, white, green, and Ketri is teamer. Uh, red, Abzan blue. and teamer. Got yep. it. My uh, pioneer Niv to Light deck is so old that it doesn't run the triomes yet, and I didn't oh. update it. It also is illegal as it currently has three fairy. Fair, fair, fair. That card's kind of good. Untap, upkeep, draw. Mm -hmm. uh, I will attempt to bounce your scavenging ooze. Can't respond. Not with spells anyway. I'm uh, I'm thinking on it. No problem. At your leisure. <laughs> and might as well just activate it. That's fine. I will draw a card. Okay. I will now uptick targeting wooded foothills. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the Kate command is going to be ridiculous. I will play Wooded Foothills. And I'll pass with seven. End step. I'm going to bolt targeting Teferi. Oh, you can't. Teferi doesn't allow you to cast any spells on uh, my turn. Oh, okay. Is that going to counter on resolution or is it going to go back to my hand? It, you just can't cast it. So it's in my hand then? Yep, that's accurate. Okay. That's right. Then I should have eaten your thing. But alas. <laughs> hey, feel free. Do you want to eat something? Like retroactively eaten the Niv Mizzet? Uh, yeah, we can rewind that. You okay. gain one life I, and you I would eat just get 18. That would be the difference. Yeah. But That's wouldn't, generous of you. Wouldn't Thank Corey you. just in response no cast K command then? I don't know. Um, Teferi turns off Bloodbraid's ca Cascade, doesn't it? 
Uh, it still cascades, but you can't cast it. Well, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> let's see. All right. Well, let's bolt to fairy first, then. Okay, to fairy down. Fetch to seventeen. Fetching. Basic. Uh, I'm gonna go for a stomp. You got it. Can you hear Landon? Just curious. Uh, it's really not very noticeable. Okay. <laughs> Landon and I go way back anyway. I've known him since I was <laughs> like eight tall. <laughs> All right. Well, let's go for Bloodbraid Elf. All right. Cascade. Cascade. Liliana the Veil. Liliana Veil Resolve. Uh, unfortunately, uh, Liliana on the uh, resolve um, blood braid on the stack. Okay. Uh, this is not the most ideal situation. Um, I will. Uh, Attempt to Assassin's Trophy, Lily on the Veil. I'll have a floating blue. You can't activate Lily in response, right? That's a sorcery speed. Uh, correct. Plus, uh, Blood Raid is on the stack. That's right. Okay. Um, I will resolve the search off of Assassin's Trophy. Yep. I'll get a forest. Okay. You probably have at most one more basic. Yeah, I'm gonna get the forest. Wow. Forest. Okay. And then Croxa is gonna take out Renin Six or attempt to. You mean Blood Raid Elf? Uh, yeah. <laughs> you're, you're fine. I'm gonna Colagon's command. I'm gonna deal yeah. two to Blood Braid and make you discard. Seven Genos hits the bin. Okay. You know, I really, uh, I, I miss my, my nib visit in the yard. At your instep, I'm going to fetch. Oh, yeah. Uh, 14. Yeah, Corey probably should have, if the situation played out the way they ended up doing it, responded to the scavenging ooze by casting cake man, returning nib visit to his yeah, hand. Yeah, one in hand? One in hand. Oh, she only had better the than a scavenging open. ooze. Okay. It might not be. Oh, that's true. That's true. It might have been an accidental discard uh, draw. Yeah. Um, I will uptick Renin 6, targeting Misty Rainforest. Okay. I will play Misty Rainforest. Okay. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, yeah? <laughs> I will do rainbow colors to play bring to light. Sure. We will grab another Niv Mizzet as soon as I find it. It's always in the bottom pile. It's whatever pile you didn't pick is where it is. <laughs> That's how it is fetching with Jund at least. Also, this particular amalgam of Jund cards only draws lands in the late game. Ooh, and, and lands and thought seizes. That thought seizes, right. Uh, trigger, is that fine? Yeah. Three, six, nine, ten. This is so over. All right, miss, 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 hit, miss, miss, hit, miss, miss, miss. I only get a Supreme Verdict and a Lightning Helix. Still over. Okay. I know the feels. Hey, I've missed completely. You're like, how is this possible? But it is. <laughs> I will pass with seven. And potentially three mana available. Of course, I don't run available. 80 in my um, Pioneer. You know, I just run 60. For now. For now. Once you update it, it's going to go your uh, It might be. You never know. Right? Like, that would be kind of fun. <laughs> We could still join them out. All right. Luanel right, has hope. I'm going to spin the wheel with Bloodbraid 
You got Gilbert it. Gilbert on the stack. Cascade. Got a Renin Ooh. six on the you stack. You got your own Renin six. I do. Uh, with Renin six cast mm -hmm. and Bloodbraid on the stack, I'm going to Lightning Helix Renin six. Sounds good. You're going to gain three. Yep. I'm at 17. 17. Why did I even look at my graveyard? I wasn't going to get anything. <laughs> uh, blood ready resolves. Uh, go ahead. Luanil, Luanil has no hope. 16. Well, here's the proverbial living nib nizzet. Not that my deck doesn't have answers, of course, but i got to answer it quick. And then put my own <laughs> pressure on. We'll right. see. The pressure's on. Chat, do you like popcorn? I'm just going to set up a poll about that. just want to see if everybody likes popcorn or not. And let me know if there's specific kinds of popcorn you like in chat. just want to make sure we get this poll up. Um, abundant growth targeting forest. Mm -hmm. Rainbow I'll draw popcorn. <laughs> um, two, three, four, five. Ooh. I'll bring to light for five for rainbow. And oh, at what point am I conceding? <laughs> we got the supreme <laughs> verdict in hand. Does anybody like smart pop? Smart food, what's that? I might draw like a card. I'm not quite, no, it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> that was going to grab Valky. Uh, or Tybalt, rather. Okay. Runner, runner. okay, if my top deck is Maelstrimbles, I will cry in Jund. It is not. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Game one goes to Niv-Mizzet in very exciting fashion. We now have a poll. This is important, by the way. A poll happening right now. Do you like popcorn? Answer the question, yes or no. Collecting data for, uh, for uh, market research. Catherine's keeping six, putting one on the bottom. Niv Mizzet on seven, and it looks like they're about to be underway. Kind of the same thing. Uh, Volky, oh, land, 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 fatal push, utopia sprawl, and bring to light. I'll do face up for you. Volky, utopia sprawl, fatal push are the options. Uh... He does not have a black. Um naturally i feel like all Rings your hands light. must look something like this something like this yes like just like a pile of cards oh i'm just shuffling my cards without actually shuffling shuffling or searching yeah what do you take here chat is it valky I think the back end work you do to keep production value high means that any format fans on YouTube would love to see content. I don't think there's another. Yeah, that's another thing. It, it's it's like there there is this um, debate almost within my own brain. That's like okay, my audience right now wants to see just legacy, or they want to see legacy of modern. That's it. But. The magic community is way larger than my audience that exists right now. I mean, do do I have to um, only do what my current audience wants me to do? Which, to a certain extent, obviously I do. But or do I want to attract more people who do other stuff with magic 
to come watch my channel also. And it's, like, you know, it, it's balancing that. That's, that's like kind of a dangerous game as a content creator, to be honest with you. <laughs> yeah, you do draw your, I mean, mathematically, I guess, right? You draw your good cards less with uh, your 80 card deck. Ren and six. Ren and six is good. And I'll get back Bird and Catacombs. Okay. Uh, the Fetch Shack is going to get Overgrown Tomb. Okay. Go ahead. On tap. Upkeep. Draw. So I draw the Ren and Six. Maybe I should have just taken it out. <laughs> do anything here? I don't know. I have no idea how to sideboard it with John. Uh, I'll play Windswept Teeth. Mm hmm. Red and six not looking not past the five. Uh, red and six is at four. Yeah, I just realized. Sorry. No, you're good. Ooh. Maybe. Oh, I was about to say, I still have hand information. We did it. Yeah. <laughs> JK, maybe. Um, Yeah, I'll plus run in six, play Bloodstained Mire for hand, for turn. Go ahead. Uh, and step fetch. The other thing is, on, on Twitch, for example, playing Tabletop Legacy makes us stand out a little bit, um, I, I think. You know, you can go through the Magic the Gathering section on Twitch at any point, and it's mostly arena streams, which is great. But if we're just another arena stream, will anybody care? Or will they just watch arena streamers that do arena? Um, but I, I think it would be fun to have, you know, as many people as possible who watch this channel be able to participate in our events. And that's only really logistically possible on arena. I, I, I don't want to be organizing remotely you know 70 paper <laughs> matches and like helping people like my opponent you know is uh l lagged out or whatever. like I, I how can i possibly manage that you know an arena event would make it super easy to have um community events all right so people yeah you love the paper aspect for sure yeah 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 Archival Rain says, I come here knowing it's going to be legacy and modern paper magic. That's the appeal for me, but I'm just one person. No, I mean, I, I think most people feel exactly like Archival Rain. Um, anyway, I'm just kind of thinking out loud. I appreciate all the feedback. And everybody that's giving feedback is pretty much reinforcing the way I'm thinking about it. So, Yeah, that's another thing too. Like, you know, it, if... His, especially if in the long term, historic format on Arena adds a lot more 90s cards to the format and it feels a lot more like Vintage or, or Legacy as far as the, the, the play style and the decks and stuff like that, then it, you know, it might make sense for us to dip into that quite a bit more. Yeah, the altered cards and signed cards. That's, yeah, that's, that's a big part of the, the appeal of the show for sure. Omnath on the board for Corey. It's bad news. Maelstrom Pulse on... Ren and Six? <laughs> oh, dang it. Okay, that's fine. Land for turn is going to be Verdant. Go ahead. Uh, untap. Draw. Fetch. That's a prismatic vista. That is accurate. Okay, seventeen. Sixteen? Do you have yourself at a seventeen? No. Seventeen multiples I've, of six. Yep, I fetched three times. Okay. Huh. There was there was no targetables in that half. <laughs> no, no, no basics in that whole pile. I can promise you there are basics in this deck. It's just <laughs> not in that pile. <laughs> but if I decided now, now I'm just like uh, 
spitting ideas out. But if if I decided tomorrow from this day forward, this channel is only legacy. I'm I'm not sure how many people I lose. Like I feel like most people are sticking around for legacy. But I do, yeah. I don't know. I don't know if that would be the right move. I'm not even going to do that. I'm just saying. But I get occasionally, like, we'll do a modern stream, we'll do a, you know, popper stream, whatever, and I'll get people in the chat like, what is this? Where's Legacy? You know, like, as if, like, you know, it's got to be their way, but. Yeah, a lot of EDH players don't know at all about 60 Card Constructed. That's true. That's true. Yeah, I think a lot of people are like you, Ben. Exactly, Luanil. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah. My bad. Um, I guess I could get attacked. Is it okay to go to cleanup, or did you have something? Yeah, go for it. I'm just refetching. I will discard Ren and Six, Chaos Guile. Colagon's command. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, Chaos Guile. Got it. Ugh. Clean up. It's the worst. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. I know. There was two Ren and Sixes in yeah. that. The, that Ren and Six wasn't in my uh, hand. It was supposed to go to the bottom. Oh, okay. Okay, got it. Yeah, there was two Ren and Six. I was going to say. Okay. So, so I, I just put... It, instead of going into me. my graveyard, it went to... Uh, I kept it in my hand. I have seven. There's one in your hand. Got it. Yep. Understood. All right. Draw. How, deck? How? Why? It's Ren and Six from the John. <laughs> All yeah. the lands... <laughs> well, a Blood Raid Elf into like Liliana could be something. All right, here's Blood Raid Elf. Liliana the Veil. Oh, oh, come on. Come on. Time, <laughs> time baby. All right. Minus. It's fine. Oh, well, sorry. 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 It, it, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. We already Minus. know what's going to happen. <laughs> oh, man. Come on, game. Yeah, right? All right, we'll plus, get back, burden catacombs. Okay. You don't have any hasty creatures, so I don't have to protect my planeswalkers. You just have direct damage, and that I can't do anything about. It's true. So I already took three. three. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I already knew it was coming down the pipeline. We'll play verdant, as it still has fetchables. Go ahead. Uh, on top. Draw. <sighs> this looks a lot less appealing. I mean, you got a you got lot a of cards. Stack of hand. <laughs> All right, so a couple, couple of goodies in there. We're gonna go red, green, mm -hmm. uh, flow to blue. I will grab Ren and Six. I'll uptick Ren and Six. Targeting mm -hmm. Prismatic Vista. Mm -hmm. I'll play Prismatic Vista and fetch. Mm -hmm. 13. This is game two. I'll grab Forest. Niv mm -hmm. visit one, game one. I'll use Forest and Black to abrupt decay Ren and Six. Yours, of course. Yeah. Well, oh, I thought for some reason I was like a Maelstrom Pulse. Because it does it does work that way. Yeah, 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 hard pass on the Maelstrom Pulse. Um, <laughs> I still have blue floating, but I don't think I can do anything with it. So I'll pass with six. All right, I'll go to 11 because there can't be any more lands to draw. They're just, there can't be. Only time will tell, I guess. I guess so. Uh, <clears throat> Deck. 
Seven and six has a. What do you want to spend your channel points on, Ben? What would be the most awesome thing to spend your channel points on? That that is doable. Unless you have a forest in hand, that verdant can definitely get back a forest. Yeah. All right. Let's plus and both discard. Um. One moment. One moment. Uh, I'll discard this card. It is a fatal push. <laughs> You're a hoarder. I'm going to discard the very high tech bloodstain mire. Ooh. It's in my other tech, and I just didn't make a nice proxy. Uh, I mean, your handwriting's really nice. Yeah, all caps. <laughs> How many channel points do you have? How many channel points? And this is questions for everybody. Who has a lot of channel points? Tell me how many you have. I'm, I'm, I'm looking at something. Let's find out what happens next. Bloodbraid Elf? <laughs> That's fine. Let's find out what happens next. Yeah. Oh, come on, deck. Oh, come <laughs> on. Seriously? Oh, my God. Jesus. Jesus. What was that, five in a row? Oh, man. Need to have a talk. Told you, late game. That's all this deck does. Okay, Croxa. Uh, Croxa is... Crox is good. Uh, I will discard a non-land. Does anybody have more than 30,000 channel points besides Force of Phil that's watching right now? I'm going to swing at you. Okay. I go to seven. And second main, Nurturing Pete Land is the land for turn. Okay. Go ahead. I'm thinking about putting a channel point redemption, 50,000 channel points, and you can host the Eternal Dirtles podcast for one week. <laughs> Imagine I put that on my... <laughs> it's not even up to me. Uh, um, 23? Yeah, just <laughs> make someone else. So this deal is probably with it. not the smartest play in the world, but I'm gonna <laughs> do it. Uh, it's Monday. It's fine. Right. Check out Eternal Dirtles, everybody. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and tap five, but it's <laughs> only making up four colors. Yeah, I see that. I'm gonna bring to light. Sure. Is that, is that okay? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to get an Omnath. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I will uptick Renin 6. Oh, man. Does everybody have access to that new spicy emote now, or is that just Phil? Go to 11. I don't even know. Yep. Uh, I'll go. I'll fetch if that's okay with you. 10. Uh, I will get... I should have a swamp in here. Yep, I will get swamp. Uh, I'll make every color except for swamp. Yeah, this is Niv to light. Niv to light. And then I will... Lightning Helix targeting Liliana of the Veil. Vale. You'll go up to 13. Yep. Uh, and then I will pass with two mana available. Uh, end of turn. I'm going to pitch that Nurturing Peatland and draw. You got it. May I ask how many cards you have in hand, please? Uh, when I draw, I have four, and then I'm drawing up to five. Oh, God. It's almost like you just have endless resources. <laughs> Jund, right? What a pain. Right. Bloodstained Mire is the land for turn. Okay. You have two untapped mana. Accurate. Needs to get rid of this. I'm going to start with 
looking at my lands. Um, okay. okay. And then we're going to go Ashiok Dream Render, 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 Render. Okay. That guy comes down with five. That doesn't kill Omnath. Um, I'm going to minus target you. It's four cards, right? Yeah, four and then exile. One, two, three, four. You got four lands. Okay, I'm going to... Well, that's good for you. Well, I don't know. It depends. That's a very much it depends. I'm going to fetch down to ten. Okay. going to look at my hand again. Okay, yeah. I'm going to get a swamp. Needs to blow up this Omnath. Liliana the Veil. Oh my god, literally anything but Lily, right? please. Uh, that's you. pretty good. Okay. And I'm going to swing at you for six. All right, I'm at seven, seven again. <laughs> After all that. Go ahead. Could have killed. Uh, at your instep, I'm going to Assassin's Trophy, your Ashiok. If she would have killed um, Renin Six there, the ping from Renin Six can't kill Lily, right? And Lily would have stuck around. Might have been worth it to attack Renin Six there. What do you think, chat? Soul, but I do run the mountain. May I it's proceed? It's reality now. Is that okay with you? You. The question didn't quite get across. Say it again. Uh, may I proceed? Yeah, go for it. On tap. Upkeep. Draw. <clears throat> um. John without Bob needs a new name, yeah. You have one in hand or two? Two. Uh, I'll play Pillar of the Pruins. Mm -hmm. I'll tap for a rainbow. Okay. I'll cast niv -Mizzet. Yeah. Uh, Helix hits, miss, 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 hit, miss, miss. Uh, Geronimo, thanks for the follow. Are you in New Jersey? Welcome, welcome. Uh, I'm going to down tick, targeting Liliana of the Veil. Okay. You can't Depends have another burn. Liliana of the Veil, right? Uh, well, two are in the graveyard, so <laughs> you'll find so, out. So you're saying there's a chance. <laughs> I did um, not side two of them out. I will now pass to you. Okay. Untap. Awesome. I'm in, a, I'm in New York. Miraculously, right there is still a land in my hand that I can pay play. I know. No <laughs> raging ravines either. Thanks, deck. Um. I um, how many untapped mana do you have? Let's go with three. Croxa, out of the bin. So we're gonna escape Croxa. Okay, Croxa. Stick around. Trigger. Three minutes uh, left on the clock. I'm gonna give her a bring to light. I don't lose any life. Okay. What do you exile for Croxa? If you want to add time to the clock, do it now. And not with five seconds left. Two, three, four. Ledgeview, thanks for the sub. Ten months for Ledgeview. Ledgeview is one of our best. Everybody say hello to Ledgeview in chat, please. Ledgeview is a VIP on this channel. Add one minute says Uro is fine. Thank you for that. I'll add a minute. <laughs> Run in six. Did have a Lily. Oh hand. my I'm god. Oh, so sorry. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> There's another Liliana of the Veil. Damn. Uh, so, you know, Lily does, does Lily resolve? Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> Minus. Uh, yeah. 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 I know. What can I, what can it, what can I uh, Oh no. Uh, uh, I'm going to. Helix, one of your two Bloodbraid Elves, which okay. will net me zero because exactly. I take three. 
And that. How many channel points to unban top for a stream? I think that would have to be in the hundreds of thousands. Maybe 400,000. On top. I'll keep. Draw. Uh, I will down tick targeting Lily. Yep. <laughs> Zero. You can do that anytime you want. I will fetch. Go to six. Okay. Get an island. Actually, force a fill. I I think it would. I think I might do a stream on April first. And it would be perfect for exactly what you're talking about. Because I have some funny plans for April 1st. Maybe. One in the yard. Yeah, exiled one. One it's exiled. Yeah. All right. At this point, is your deck getting legitimately like normal size? <laughs> <laughs> I'm... <laughs> I'm thinking about just yeah, I, I'll I'll see I'll see what we're gonna do on April first stream, but I think it's gonna be wild. If you if you are watching right now, clear your calendars for April first. I'm gonna do a fun stream. For Only sure. time will tell. I thought your last hit was kind of anemic. Uh, three, six, nine, ten. <laughs> uh, miss, 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 miss. Hit, hit. Uh, miss, hit. Miss, miss. So I get mm -hmm. Nahiri, Ren and Six, Dreadbore. Okay. And Veil vale of Summer, Ren and Six, Fatal Push, and some lands go to the bottom. Okay. Um, I will Dreadbore your uh, Six Six. Okay. And then I will pass to you. You can't possibly have another Lily on a oh, sorry. And so I'll go to nine. And I'll get the forest. Okay. I mean, I totally run more than one forest right now. Actually, I don't know. I could. I have at various points run. Ten seconds left, chat. Zero, one, and two forests. Okay. The forest. All right, that's time in the round. So whoever's turn it is right now is turn zero. Yeah. yeah. So I'm going to be turn one. Okay. Oh, God, Mog, you're too late. The clock ran out. Hit. I actually can't add minutes now. Uh. Let's escape the Croxa again. Okay. I will discard Ren and Six. Okay. Ren and Six discarded. Life totals are precarious. Doesn't matter as much now that we're on a clock, turn clock. Croxa hits hard. Croxa is also a and six six. I'm going to go for a Goyf. Okay. Better late. And I guess never. Go ahead. Uh, untap. How big is Goyf? I'm wondering. This is turn two. It's got to be like a six or seven. I will cast Nahiri. Mm hmm. I will uptick Nahiri, and I'll discard one swap teeth. Okay. Draw card. Okay. I will cast Birds of Paradise. It's an excellent blocker. <laughs> it blocks. Um, and I will. Oof! All right, I'll uptick. Grabbing one swap teeth. You're hellbent? No, I have one card in hand. Okay. Uh, block, block. Go ahead. 
And then we've got creature, land, planeswalker, sorcery. Sorcery, instant. Instant. So five? five. Or is that six? Okay. Yeah, because we have no artifact or uh, enchantment. Correct. Draw. How many cards do you have in hand? One. one you know card. what it is. It's one swept teeth. That's right. Okay. Well, we will start with uh, Croxa out of the hand. You got it. And then trigger, trigger. I take three. And then lightning bolt. Oh, you got it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do it that way. <laughs> Whoo! Indeed. That was a great game. That was a great match. Yeah. Oh wait, was that, is that was that lethal then? Yeah. 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 <laughs> oh, I mean, she, she had had life totals wrong. <laughs> she also had could have on the bolted swing. the bird and then swung. That was my initial plan, and you, then you could have just attacked because the only card I had in hand was a land, and that makes it so that Croxa does three damage to me. Right, I block exactly. Croxa and Tarmogoyf and take three from Blood Raid Elf. So the right. match ends in a draw, right? Yeah. yeah. So you know what that means, right? <laughs> no, I don't. Yeah, no, not today. That means chat has to decide the winner. Chat oh. has to decide the winner. Jun this wins is this every time. But we're going to have chat decide. Why not? Jun wins this every time. <laughs> we're going to have chat decide the winner here. Is it Niv Mizzet, Corey, or is it Jund, Catherine? Chat, you decide now. You have two minutes. This is very important. This is very Do I get important. a vote on this? Yeah, I had the yeah, you guys can vote. the lightning bolt for a while. I top decked the Croxa. So that, oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. That was why I was like, all right, I'm good. Because I just had the lightning bolt, but the Croxa just made it so much easier. Ooh, those Lilianas. They, I know. Yeah, there was a lot of Lilianas there. I think there's six in the deck. Right, <laughs> yeah, I think so. <laughs> All right, uh, Jebediah is calling this corruption. A lot of <laughs> votes are coming in, and they're mostly for Jun so far. 100% for Jun, actually. People are just <laughs> voting for Jun. Corey, show us some of your foils. Maybe they'll maybe you'll get some votes. Um. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I, I, I I'm more I'm more proud of my altars. So oh yeah. Oh but, yeah. Tell us about those altars, actually. So I got Wait. my alt. Yeah. Oh yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Sorry. I got my altars done by Sablin Altars, uh -huh. um, and I got my favorite uh, anime characters done. I do have a fourth. Um, so from Sword Art Online, I have Asuna, uh, I have Sinon, mm -hmm. and then for my other two that I have, I have Jabril and Shuvi from No Game No Life. Okay. And wh what are you showing us, Catherine? Oh, how warped my Ashiok is the stained glass Ashiok. I've been trying to unwarp it ever since I got it, and this is as far as I've gotten. <laughs> so so this has turned into a quality control complaint stream now. Yes. <laughs> what, what Ashiok is that? That's um, We got this. This is the stained glass one. We got it oh, with a secret, secret layer. layer. Yeah, yeah, or yeah. maybe we pulled it from a War of the Spark box because we did get Excuse me. We did get a War of the Spark box. Okay, okay. I think that one was from the secret layer. It probably says on the bottom, actually. Oh, we got it with the God secret layer. That's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, all right. Mm -hmm. A couple seconds left in the poll. I voted for you, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Corey, your, your altars got two votes, but the winner yeah. is Catherine with Jund. Congratulations. You are the winner. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Look at all the cards I wrote down that we saw. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> and Golgari Tom contributed 50 bits. Thank you, Golgari Tom. 